Hello and welcome back. Happy 20, happy end of 2021. Thank God we made it. Fingers crossed. I'm not gonna say anything about 2022 because we're just not, we're not, we're not doing that again. Um, hi, welcome to my channel. If you are new, thanks for watching. If you are an old subscriber, welcome back. I've missed you. It's been a crazy few months and I'm happy to be filming again. I'm happy to be in this new space. It's just a different bedroom. This works better. Um, I got some new art, which is old. And I've got a box of Cheez-Its, a glass of wine and a martini glass. And we're gonna sit down. We're gonna film my five favorite and five least favorite sunscreens of 2021. I'm gonna put a timestamp right here. You don't wanna listen to me jibber jabber. Just click ahead. But if you are interested in my life a little bit and where I've been and what's going on, just hang on. We're gonna get into it right now. So first off, there is a hair in my wine. Mm -hmm. It's also not chilled, so good thing I put it in the fridge now so it can get chilled for New Year's Eve. We're not doing anything. It's like 60, 70 degrees here, which feels very weird. At least the sun is out. It's been so gray, so gloomy, very depressing. Um, but you know, it's a very casual New Year's Eve. Cliff has been sick. I have been dealing with a rash. And it's just like the end of the year. The last three months have been insane. You might have heard this a little bit, but the last three months have been literally the craziest of my life. And I am praying that those three months, we just got it all out of the way with and smooth sailing from here, but I know better, so I will knock wood. But just to back up, and I'll do it briefly, because I feel like it helps. I don't know why I have to explain myself, but I do. So the end of October, we had our, what we call re-wedding. <laughs> We got married technically in 2020, but we couldn't celebrate with everyone. So we had a big celebration in October. The next week we sold our house. We had been renovating it for four years. So it wasn't like crazy that we were selling it, but um, it was time. And then I started a new job like a week later. And then we bought another house like a week later, which we weren't necessarily planning on doing, but it worked out really well. Um, so that was crazy. And then about a month or so I had of just like, blinders on trying to focus get my job like understand it and it was it's a very demanding job more so than my last job so i just didn't really have a lot of time for youtube or anything and then the holidays came and right when i was like oh we're gonna have some time like i'm gonna be able to take off work from work i got a severe case of poison sumac or like i was exposed to it and i my my skin is not sensitive on my face but my body is a different story I had a rash all over. I couldn't sleep. I was itching. Like, it's not like, it's not like a mosquito bite. If you've ever gotten a bad, like poison ivy or poison sumac or something, it's like from the inside out and you have no relief and you're just like twitching. It's, it's terrible. I was on prednisone, which is a steroid. That made me kind of crazy because I was on such a high dose and it still wasn't working. And then I had two shots in my buttocks of more steroids. And at that point, I like picked up a baseball bat and thought I was going to kill Cliff, like roid rage for real. I had topical steroids. They were not doing anything. And then I finally got some relief from um, what's called clobetazole, which is like the strongest topical steroid, which is crazy. Like I would have done that all along had I known it would work the best. Anyway, two and a half weeks of that. And I'm just now better, like as of Monday, Tuesday, and today is Friday. So that's where I've been. <laughs> I know it's crazy um, and I hope that it's beyond me and I will get into life again. But thank you again for watching. If you have watched throughout this year or any time this year, it really does help. I love this stuff so much. I, I was gonna give it up actually, like about a week, two weeks ago. I was like, I don't have time. I, I just can't do YouTube anymore. And I figured out my space in here. The lighting is still like a work in progress, all that. But I love it so much that I did not want to stop and I don't want to stop. So I do appreciate you watching and just know from, from deep down in my heart, I appreciate you. So if you are just coming back, you didn't want to hear all that jibber jabber, let's get into it. If you did listen, thank you again and let's go. Top five. I'm not going to do them in any particular order because <laughs> it was hard enough to get five that I love. I mean, like I have way more than five. I'm trying to say like it was hard enough to narrow them down. 
So putting them in like one, two, three, four, no, can't happen, not gonna happen. <laughs> but let's start with what is in front of me. Some of them I do not have because I use them, which is obviously a good sign. And I have usually featured them in like an empty video. I will link everything below and I will also put a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. But first one that I have on hand is the Live Tinted Hue Guard. This is pretty much done. I think I saved like a pump or two just so I could show you in this video. And this is a, oh, whoa. This is a mineral sunscreen. This is one of the most enjoyable mineral sunscreens I've ever put on my face because it has the most fluid nature out of probably all of them. And it does kind of give you like a little bit more of a radiant finish, but eventually it does dry down. And I've worn this in the winter and in the summer. And I would say that depending on your skin tone, it can be a little more drying by the end of the day. So I would say if you have typically very dry skin, this could maybe only work in the summer where you, if you live like in a hot and humid climate, but in the winter, this is probably not gonna give you the hydration that you need. It does have a nice finish, but that doesn't last all day. But I do love it just because I find that it is so easy to apply. It gives me like a little bit of a tint, not necessarily like a makeup tint, but it kind of just blurs anything imperfections. Um, and I used all of it, pretty much all of it. So, so this is a mineral sunscreen and it's got like 21% zinc oxide, so very high percentage, which is nice. Next up, <laughs> this one is the COTS. This is Flawless Complexion Tinted, another mineral sunscreen. And I tried to include everything, a little bit of mineral, chemical. I don't think I have any hybrid, but I might. But, you know, so you can get a little bit of everything for everyone. This one I was expecting to hate because I tried it in the summer and it was so much that I was just like, nope, let's put it aside, Let, let's wait, winter, that kind of thing. And now that it's winter, well, today it's like 65, but when it is cooler and drier this is um fabulous i would say that this one is more of a like a mid range um i won't list the prices of all of these but this one it this is mineral and it really is one of the most invisible ones i've ever tried um this one has less of a tint than the live tinted one it just blends in like it does have a color when it comes out but just a little bit of rubbing and it's there. Now, this is what you wear when you want hydration, moisturization all day. I cannot even look at it in the summer, but in the winter, chef's kiss. I really love this stuff. And it's somewhat affordable. I think this is $25. This is about two and a half fluid ounces. This one is, I think, more close to the $30 range and this is 1.7 fluid ounces, but this is a much smaller brand. This one you can get like Ulta, those kind of places. So those are two mineral sunscreens that I have really, really enjoyed. Next one, I haven't even done a review on this one. I haven't even really talked about it, but I reach for this all the time. This is the Hello Sunny Hydrating Sun Essence, SPF 50 PA++++. This is a Korean um, sunscreen, and it's actually by the brand Vanilla Co, which is one of the ones that makes the cleansing bombs that are so like popular these days. I picked it up on a whim. I do that sometimes. I'll place like a big style Vanna or uh, Yes Style order, which is for Korean or like Japanese sunscreens. And I just got this, like not even, I've never heard of it, but I kind of love it. I'm almost out of it, by the way. I kind of am using it sparingly these days. Um, this goes on like a dream. It's a chemical sunscreen, so it shouldn't be hard to rub in and it's not. What I find is this is one of those sunscreens that I wear when I'm, I just don't want to think about it. I don't have anything special that day. I'm working out. That's what I do a lot. Like I work out in the morning. So I put this on cause I work out outside or by a window and it doesn't have, there's no sheen. There's no gloss. It's not uh, too moisturizing. It doesn't sweat off my face. It doesn't sting my eyes. That's very big. It just dries down. So I know that's kind of like not that special, but in a sense it kind of is. Um, I would not reach for this in the depths of winter. It's not gonna hydrate my skin. It's not gonna give me a, a glow or anything, but if I want to wear it under something and maybe like I'm inside more, I wouldn't reach for most Korean sunscreens like for very high protection. That's just not their strength. But if you want something that's super unproblematic, this one is a good one. Okay, 
Now, the two that I do not have because I used them up and I emptied them and they were in empties are the Glossier Invisible Shield. And this one, it's, it's in my top five because it's a freaking glorious sunscreen. I wish, I wish, I wish they made a larger size because it only comes in one fluid ounce. And it's not super cheap for one fluid ounce, but if you want a sunscreen that is kind of like this, unproblematic, goes on invisibly, like it is invisible for all skin tones, it is the Glossier. So if you love Glossier, it would be something that I would recommend. Um, if you're willing to kind of repurchase it, I think it's about $24 you're gonna go through it pretty quickly. So that's the only caveat, um, but I can't leave it out of this list because it is so freaking glorious. And I've seen comments on Glossier, like on their uh, review page, where people are like, please, please, please make a bigger size. So fingers crossed, I think, I think they'll do it one day. And if and when they do, I will be buying it because it's probably one of my very favorite sunscreens of all time. <sighs> And the last in the top five is the Shiseido Ultra Sun Protector, whatever. I also have a video on this. Um, this is a stellar, incredibly versatile sunscreen. This is another chemical. So we have two mineral, which are these two, and then the three um, chemical, which would be the Hello Sunny, the Glossier, and the Shiseido, that's three. Um, this one is the one I recommend to people who a, want something that is 100% invisible. Same with Glossier. That one, no matter what your skin tone is, it's going to be invisible. And B, if you are an active person, it has what's called active force shield technology. Did I make that up? Maybe. Um, no, I, I didn't make it up, but I don't know the exact name. And Shiseido, they have a lot of money for R&D and they have done a lot of R&D and it shows in this product. This product I wear in the like really like August in North Carolina, summertime kind of weather, where it's humid, it's hot, it's sticky. I don't want it to just run off my face. This is the sunscreen I reach for. It's not the most affordable, but you actually get a pretty good, like you get a good amount. And if you buy the larger amount, you're getting a better deal, but they do have a smaller size as well. So when I get through some of the other sunscreens that I own, because I own a lot, I will probably be repurchasing that that along with the Glossier. Um, I probably won't be repurchasing the Lip Tinted for right now just because I do have other mineral sunscreens. But if I had no other sunscreens, if I wasn't doing this as like my side gig, I would be repurchasing pretty much all of these. That's why they're in my top five. So those are my top five. I have videos on almost all of them and um, I will link all of them below and above. And hopefully if you have not watched the video, then go ahead and give that a watch and you can get all of the information there. Now, I told you it was very hard to round. I told you it was very hard to kind of narrow it down to top five. So I do have a few honorable mentions because I just could not not. Um, so let's get into those. <laughs> so the first honorable mention is more for a brand than for a specific one. And this is ultraviolet. The reason I did not put this in my top five, any of these, is because I'm based out of the US and a lot of my followers are, um, and you cannot get these in the US. Now, don't ask me how I got them, it's a secret. I can't in good conscience list one of these in my top five if you guys can't get it. So, they are spectacular. They each kind of have a different purpose. My favorites so far have been the Supreme Screen and the Lean Screen. This is a mineral one, this is a hybrid one. This is on par with the COTS in terms of hydration. This one is the mineral one and it is matte, which is really nice. I haven't really figured out the clean screen. Like to me, it doesn't, it's mineral also. So I, I can't tell the difference. Like I guess it's less matte than the lean screen. And then the queen screen I wanted to really like, but mine has little um, like balls in it. And they said that it was okay, but it's just not a pleasurable experience. So I don't use it as often. Next up, you guys have probably seen a video on this from me before. This is the Bliss Block Star. This is a drugstore-ish favorite. It was about 20 bucks. I got it at Target. It's readily available in the US at, at least, I think in other places as well. Um, and it is a mineral tinted sunscreen that dries down matte. I love, love, love this stuff. But the caveat, the reason it's not in the top five is because I really can't wear it year round. It's a little too matte for me in the winter. And I mean, some of these are, like this one I wouldn't reach for in the winter either, but I think it's a little bit more versatile than this one. 
This one though is beautiful under makeup. I don't think people use enough if they use it under makeup though, like as a primer. So be careful, do use enough. And the other kind of like downfall of this one is that it is highly, highly fragranced. Um, smells like lavender, if I remember correctly. Yes. Whew. I love, love, love lavender, but this is strong and I can see that it could be irritating on a lot of people's skin if that's an issue. So affordable, accessible, very nice mineral sunscreen that's not too greasy, but the scent is for some a downside. And then the other one, which is a brand, not just one, is the Hello Sunday. I know I have like Hello Sunny and Hello Sunday, different, different brands though. This, I think they're based out of the UK. Oh wow, I've used half of this and this one's almost empty too. I should, I put ones on my um, like counter in my bathroom that I need to finish up. So I should move these into there. Both of these are nice and hydrating. Both of them are so unproblematic. They're also super affordable. You can get them, I know you can get them in the US. I got them on Cult Beauty. So if that is like, you know, if you can't find it anywhere, go to Cult Beauty, it's out of the UK. But I would say that they're like, kind of, I don't want to, this sounds bad, but they're like the poor man's ultraviolet. <laughs> so like this one is kind of like this. And then this one is the hydrating one, kind of comparable to the hydrating ultraviolet, but much more affordable and they do the job and they've never stung my eyes. So very good ones. It's time for the top five worst. Oh, I just said that the um, Hello Sunday brand was in my top like honorable mentions, but uh, I have to tell you, not all of them. Those two, yes. They have one that's like a matte, um, kind of more like a primer. I, It's fine. It reminds me of the Super Goop, what is it? Um, invisible, no, not Invisible. Um, you know, the one that's like clear and tacky, that's like a primer, that is, I think like a very good dupe for the super group one but they also came out with this new mineral one that's literally the name of it the mineral one it's so bad i put it on my face not even thinking being like okay like these days mineral sunscreens they've improved so much and especially like this is kind of like a niche brand it's not like drugstore mineral which is another story in itself this stuff is bad I didn't get enough. It is chalky. Let's see. It's going to be hard to show you. It would be better if I did it on my face, which I am going to do. I have a roundup of all the um, Hello Sunday ones. And this, in this light, it's not doing it justice. But this color, whew, do you see that? What is this color? Um, it's like purple ash. It's just the least flattering color. I don't know who that color would work for. It definitely doesn't work for me. And even when you blend it out, and again, I will do a roundup of that brand soon so you'll see it applied to my face, but just steer away. I have many other mineral sunscreens that work much better than this. So sadly, that was a big fail. I should have gotten an ice cube. I don't have any ice cubes though. My fridge doesn't have room for ice because we have so much stuff in it. It's called a first world problem. I should also mention that these are in no particular order. Like the five best, the five worst, it's just hard to like put them in like one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just going for it. <laughs> the next one, this is the Dr. Dennis Gross, what is it called? All Physical Lightweight Wrinkled Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This one, it's not terrible. And I have a full video on like the most expensive high end, I think they're mostly mineral, but not all sunscreens and this is in that roundup and it's the one that I reach for whoa it's making some noise it's the one that I reach for the least um and it's not a terrible sunscreen it really isn't you do see a white cast though um it's not invisible but I find that for the amount of money that it costs out of those ones that I reviewed this is the one that I would say like, eh, pass. Get either the Murad or this one, the Dr. Brandt Liquid Sun Shield. This one, those two, I just find them to be much easier to apply. Um, this is a lot of money for a sunscreen that is only going to work on the fairest of skin tones or under makeup. I just don't think that it's worth the money. I've used so little of it. If anyone wants it, I'll give it to you. <laughs> um, but yeah. I can't say that it's like god awful the worst. 
Luckily, I've actually reviewed some pretty good sunscreens this year, but for the money, just not worth it. Okay, <laughs> this one really surprised me. This is the Anessa Ultimate Beauty Sunscreen Outstanding UV Protection Radiant Skin Begins Today. <laughs> oh, that's not even the name. It's Perfect UV Sunscreen Skin Care Milk. SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus. Anessa is made in Japan, owned by Shiseido. I've used quite a bit of this. It goes on very easily, very smoothly. It is a chemical sunscreen, so as it should, very lightweight. Uh, blends in, you know, no issues there. But my issue with it is, and it doesn't really say, because it says it's a milk, but this thing kind of dries my skin out. And some of the more lightweight, like very fluid, uh, I guess Shiseido Japanese sunscreens, not like Shiseido in name, but like either the Anessa or the Senko one, they tend to have a little bit too much alcohol content, I think, in my opinion, for my skin. And I find that by the end of the day, my skin feels like too, it's like powdery, but not in a good way. So if you do have more oily skin, this could be a very nice one for you. I think it's a little overpriced for what it is, especially in like the world of Japanese and Korean sunscreens. Um, I just think that you can find other ones. Like this would be a good kind of dupe because this one doesn't have an overall like too dewy finish or anything. It's not gonna like be too matte, too whatever but it does just kind of oddly dry my skin out, which I don't like at all. Ooh, the last two. These two are probably the worst. Now, the first one is the Black Girl Sunscreen Matte. I do not have it. I returned it. I don't return sunscreens often. If you could see how many I have sitting in front of me, you would understand. I like to keep them even if I'm not using them. This kind of video is why I keep them. But that package, like, disintegrated in my hands i used it one or two times and as i each time i used it the package like the actual top was disintegrating like i could not screw it back on it was ridiculous it's only ten dollars black girl sunscreen is great in that sense and it's usually very affordable it obviously fits all skin tones which is wonderful but they need to do some work on the packaging and i know that's not the best reason to not like it but I actually don't like it because of the actual product as well. So the product is greasy. It's a matte, greasy sunscreen. It doesn't make sense. It's supposed to be like the Supergoop one. I can't think of the name. Why can't I think of it? I'll post it here. But it's not. <laughs> if you put like maybe like one little dot on each corner of your face, well, whatever, um, then maybe you will get matte. And I know some people do like it, but I found if I put the correct amount on, my face was greasy. And I was like, this is supposed to be a clear matte sunscreen. Like, it's not working. And then on top of that, the bottle disintegrating, I was just like, no, I can't. I really can't. I do love the other Black Girl sunscreens, especially the kids one. That's my favorite out of the three of them. Um, so if you do want an affordable, they are chemical, not an issue for me. But if you do want an affordable one, I would just go ahead and go for the kids sunscreen. And last up, Oh boy, my super group sheer screen. <laughs> I don't have this anymore because I gave it to a friend who is much paler than I and she's not giving it back to me, so maybe she's using it. But um, yeah, I did a video on this and this one makes me mad. So there is the matte screen and the sheer screen and the matte screen is fine. Like I don't, I just don't love super group. So that was kind of an issue and Maybe one of these days I'm gonna love something they put out, but whatever, you don't have to love every single product from a brand. Um, but this one was, it makes me so mad to think about because the fact that they called it sheer screen and then it went on like it did, I will, whew. yeah, it's not worth your money. It's kind of the same how I feel about this one. Not as expensive, because this one is pricey, but you don't have to spend that much money for a good mineral sunscreen. The world is getting so much better about mineral sunscreens these days. As you've seen from some of my videos, there are so many more out there. You just don't need to go for the one that is like the like fanciest all the time. Now, I don't think mineral sunscreens from the drugstore are always the best, but I think there's a happy medium in between. So that's just how it is. I can't, I really have no good words for the sheer screen, so I won't say any. And with that, and a sip of wine, we are done. So guys, I hope this video was informative. 
I hope that you enjoyed watching any of my videos this year, and I hope I continue to make them into 2022. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna keep it, well, this was not brief, but I'm gonna keep the ending brief, and I hope you all enjoy your New Year's Eve. I'm gonna try my hardest to get this up on New Year's Eve, which is today, and because I feel like there are not a lot of YouTube videos up right now, which is fair. But again, Happy New Year's. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful time and have a safe and healthy, happy new year. And I will see you in 2022. Bye. I should also, I should. <laughs>